This series is presented by Verizon, who are honored to give more to those who give the most. Well, you young Americans. Dear young American. If I had advice to give to young Americans today, I would say. The future is going to be in your hands. Dear young Americans. Find some way to serve your community and your country. Dear young American. Make sure that you are physically and mentally strong. The one thing I do remember clearly from August 8, 2012 was the suicide bomber and how he looked, that stoic look they had on his face. Never making eye contact with me, uh, always looking past me and you know, me just completely understanding and realizing the danger of the situation and needing to take action uh, to protect my brothers to the best of my abilities. When I close my eyes, when I think about it, when I dream about it sometimes, uh, on that specific day, August 8, 2012, what I remember is his face. Dear young American, I have one advice. Have a conversation. My entire life, every decision I've made, every experience that I've had were dictated by me just opening up and having a conversation with someone else. In every conversation, you have an opportunity to learn something that will have an impact on your life. Every decision that you'll make will be based on experiences that you've had. And a lot of these experiences that you've had are gonna come from the conversations you've had with people. When you're struggling, when you're finding yourself in a tough spot, in a dark hole, the best thing that you can do for yourself is to open up. Let those feelings come out. Find someone you connect with. Find someone who potentially has been in the same situation and open up. Have a conversation with them. Let them hear you. Do the talking and then listen. My entire life, I've been through different phases where at times I've struggled, whether it was personally or it was my family or it was a friend. And through every one of those tough situations, having a conversation got me through it. The most important thing that you're going to do with your life is appreciate the moment. Appreciate the people around you. Understand that no matter what is going on around you, that you are there living life with an opportunity to be a positive uh, person, a positive moment, a positive thing for someone else around you or for your environment. I was almost killed on August 8, 2012. And it really almost took that, that, that moment and really during my recovery that reality to understand that I need to be more appreciative of every single moment that I have in my life. And that's, that means being a better person to my family, being a better person to my wife, to my friends, to my coworkers, to my community. Uh, that means not thinking about myself first, but really the most important thing is to appreciate the fact that I'm still here with an opportunity to do something good and impact others. It's an opportunity to understand my reality. It's also an opportunity to understand that there is evil in the world um, and that what we do every single day, what those men and women do, we wear the uniform is to protect us and protect our freedom. And that's something that I will never forget, that I always respect and I'll always be grateful and honored to have been a part of.